Hey everybody, I'm taking a look at a game called Inside a Starfield Sky. This is an indie game that's been on my radar for, you know, maybe two months. I'm a big fan of the, the man who developed it, a guy by the name of Jason Rohrer, and I hope I'm not doing him a disservice by pronouncing his name wrong. But, uh, you know, he's done a couple of really notable projects in the indie scene. Uh, I guess most notably would be Passage, which he did maybe five or six years ago, which was a, an interesting kind of little art piece, as well as Sleep is Death, which came out last year, which was kind of like an interactive two-player storytelling simulator that was uh, really like a lot of fun and a completely novel concept that suffered from a community that sometimes was not all that robust. But uh, in any case, this game, Inside of Starfield Sky, kind of defies... Uh, defies putting it in a genre. I guess if you're looking at it right now, you could be forgiven for thinking it's kind of simple, but it's actually remarkably complex. It's kind of the best way to describe it without causing my brain to turn it on itself and melt is that it's kind of like a fractal simulator. So we play as a, maybe an organic or a mechanical being, and as you can see, we can go up levels for lack of a better term. So the creature that we just were is inside the creature that we are now. And essentially, we can go up or down levels. And like, if I was this guy right now and I went up a level, I would become the creature that I'm currently inside. And if I went down a level, I would become a creature inside of the creature I am now, if that makes sense. Uh, oh no, I've gone cross-eyed again. Uh, the, the whole point of the game is that you can go inside of things and collect these tokens, which give you increased uh, health, sometimes increased defense, or weapon upgrades. And uh, you can also go inside of enemies, and uh, if you've got an enemy that's a little bit too hard for you to face, you can collect some power-ups that are going to make it a lot worse, and thus make your job a lot easier. I apologize if my description of the game is confusing. Trust me, I am confused just playing it still at this point. Uh, this just came out last week, so I'm still still somewhat new, but I wanted to get the get the word out a little bit on this game because it's really shockingly novel and I'm having a great time playing it. One thing that you learn a little bit later is that you can actually go inside of tokens as well. So we'll take a second to explain the token system here. Basically whenever you take control of a new a new entity you can pick up three tokens and each of these tokens changes the properties uh, like the weapon or defense properties of the entity at the level above you. So you can see by going up there uh, well, maybe not that time, but a, a bit later you'll see when I go up, I take on the properties of the tokens that I collected on my way, on, on the, the level just below it. Uh, but you can also, as I learned later, go inside of tokens. So you see all these tokens right now are basically level one. You could go inside of a token, pick up tokens inside of that token to make the token even better. I'm kind of intentionally being confusing because I'm a little bit confused myself. But, you know, we'll, we'll see that when we come to it, and we will come to it a little bit later in this video. I really cannot recommend this game enough. I'll put, uh, and, and actually all of Jason Rohrer's games, uh, I'll put a link to the, uh, to the information about the game so you guys can pick up, uh, pick it up if you're so interested. It's a dollar seventy-five US, you're not gonna break the bank on this. I know people are gonna be pissed off that it's not free, but, you know, get over it. It's a buck seventy-five. Well worth it. So another thing I failed to mention you can enter yourself, and by entering yourself, you can uh, change the self that you entered, as the game so mentioned. So I'm going to try to pick up some powers that are, uh, are going to be good for combining. I've got three of the same kind right now, three heat seekers. And then by exiting, although I, I kind of bunged it up a little bit there, by exiting, I will gain those powers of myself when I come out. So my, my weapons will change a little bit. And here's where I, the game... Uh, kind of lost me, I mean that in a good way, like my mind's being Christopher Nolan Inception blown all over my laptop right now. Uh, by going into the token, you can increase the power of the token that you got. So previously, kind of our best hope for weapons was to get three of the same one level tokens, get a level three weapon. Now we could potentially get uh, level four weapons and three of those, we could create three level four tokens if you, if you catch my drift or sorry, three level three tokens, and uh, pick those up. So we could potentially have something that's level nine. This doesn't necessarily make the game more difficult, though, because uh, the difficulty also increases as you, uh, as you pick up some of these tokens, and it increases for some of them more than others. So uh, I don't really think that there seems to be a point to this game. Uh, that sounds 
like I mean that in a negative way, but I don't. Uh, uh, this is about the highest I've ever gotten in a game, up to like well, we're level eight now. We might see up to level level eleven, level level twelve uh, by the end of it. I'm not sure if it ever ends, and uh, quite frankly, I kind of hope it it never ends. It just seems like a a good time, and you can easily get lost within the folds of your own mind as you're as you're playing this. So uh, that is all for this preview. I hope you guys. Uh, take the time to check it out. This is a really interesting game, and it's uh, this kind of stuff that we need to see more of in the industry. Not so much, uh, not so much some of the rehash stuff that is, uh, you know, commonly getting major releases these days. Support this game, pick it up. Trust me, you won't regret it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.